have a confession. And the confession is I actually started picking up passengers again, driving for Uber. Can you believe it? I still can't. But on this here day, I don't want to be bothered with anybody. I got a lot on my mind, so I figured, you know what? Nobody's going to steal my joy. What's left of it anyway? <laughs> Nobody. So in order for me to stay in a positive mood, I am going to keep it cute by delivering food. That's it on this here day. It's late in the afternoon, so I'm going to do a late shift. More than likely to be probably 2 to 9 or 3 to 9, maybe 3 to 8. You know, when you're in this business, you make your own hours. I can make up for it tomorrow by picking up passengers in the morning. You know, the go-getters. Not the riffraff, the go-getters. The ones who are zen and quiet. I love those. I love those passengers. I guess you can follow me or watch what I do throughout this day delivering for DoorDash. Right now, I am waiting to pick up an order from Firehouse Subs. Yep, one order. And it should be ready right about now. So I need to get out of this car and get this order. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm lazy. I'm not walking to that door. I'm about to pull up at that door. That's what I'm about to do. Pull up. My back hurts, so therefore, I ain't going to be doing too much walking. That's the only drawback about delivering food. You got to walk, climb stairs, go up elevators, go around this corner to the west wing and back. But they put money in my pocket, so I love it. Do what you need to do, okay? Leave them. Leave them. I have a firehouse order picked up looks like she got a sub turkey sub oh come on see that let me live and now i'm headed to bambinelli's italian restaurant i got a ping while i was waiting on the sandwich at firehouse right here in the same park a lot too okay so what i'm doing going to get that money to some people, it may be little money. To me, honey, little money adds up, okay? Just pulled up at Bambinelli's Italian Restaurant. Mm -hmm. I got the order, the Bambinelli's Italian Restaurant order, while I was waiting on the firehouse. Uh, firehouse, that order is $5. And the extra additional order, I mean, literally, I just came like, I could have skipped over here to pick up this order over here in this restaurant because I'm in the same plaza. $7.75. Okay. What? Who's going to be working hard today? Not me. I'm working smarter. Remember, my back hurts. It hurts. Sciatica nerve pain, I think. I don't know for sure, but... <sighs> Gotta still get to the money, honey. Still got to get it. <laughs> Dude said, I walked to Bambinelli's. I said, oh. He said, oh, we're open. I said, okay. They look a mess in there. They still trying to get that money. Okay. So that's what I'm on too. My back is jacked. Still getting to the money. Honey, only thing gonna keep me from getting to the money. When God said don't, I said lay down today. I said lay it down today. That's the only time I'm going to actually like chill. Cause honey, I'm getting to the money. Multiple streams is where it's at. Now, let me get to delivering this food before my customers get upset. Okay. <laughs> On the way to the money. You go ahead and jam. Yeah. That's how you keep that boredom down. I just dropped off the two deliveries, two orders. And DoorDash tried to send me to Popeyes for $6. No. I don't want to deliver. Ch 
chicken from Popeye's Church's KFC. You know why? I automatically know that. Ooh, my hair's not behaving. Anyway, I already know that I'm going to be climbing about three flights of steps. You know, all the way to the back, around the corner. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. I'm not interested in McDonald's orders. I'm not interested in chicken restaurant or chicken shop orders. No, no, and no. It's drama. It's drama. To me, drama when delivering food is looking for apartment complexes. Are you on the left or the right side of the building? Are you in the back? Are you next to the pond? Are you down the way around the mulberry bush? Where are you? I don't have time. I'm not looking for anybody. I'm not looking for anybody. Mm -mm. That's not my job. To go hunt down looking for a cock. And if they send me to another chicken spot, guess what I'm going to do? Ignore the ping. And if they send me somewhere else where I know it's going to be some extra added work, I'm shutting the app off and I'm cutting Uber Eats on. Period. Work harder? Not me. I will not. It's going to be a light work day for me. I'm going to make some money. And I'm also going to do it on my leisure. I don't have a micromanager. I don't have somebody on my neck. That's Talk why I love it. these jobs. You know, in the meantime, jobs. Hey, you can make a living for real doing this if you want to. Hey, work is work. Ain't nobody bougie around here. Nobody bougie around here. I know plenty of college graduates who are driving for Uber right now. Scholars. Okay, the job market is not where it used to be. Okay. So everybody need to check themselves. Get humble. Get humble. Because you too may have to deliver some food. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so remember that good old cream I was talking about in the previous video that I got from Dollar General? This is the end result. This is how I untwist the two-strand twist. Okay. <laughs> simple 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 me i like to wear it messy because it's like who cares it's natural hair let it do what it do it got some shape right it got some shape right hate on you girl hate on me <laughs> y'all go hate either way okay whether it's Every strand is in place, okay? Whether every strand is in place, every strand is out of place. I'm going to get that. Hey! <laughs> Who else can relate? Who else can relate? Because I'm telling you, it don't matter what you do. People going to have something negative to say. And, and, and you got to get to the point where it just like, go and brush your shoulders off. Another flea, another bug, roach. I'm good. I'm good. I welcome all the people who are caring, considerate, humble, and kind. Positive vibes only. People with high vibrations. You welcome into my world. Now, the total opposite? Mm -mm. No, no. Go and kick rocks, honey. Let the door hit you where. The good Lord split you. Go. Because your girl is on some high vibrations, okay? I'm not coming down. Empress status over here, boo-boo. Empress status. If you're a troll and you find joy in trying to steal mine, honey, let me tell you something, honey. I clap back. I clap back and I clap back well. So... Who's ready for war? Ooh, who's ready for war? Because I stay ready. Okay. Actually, I take that back. Mm -mm, mm -mm. 
I'm not gonna go to war with you. I'm not gonna go to war. You know why? Because I will have. I will act. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bless you. I'm gonna bless you all up in. The I'm gonna bless all my trolls early. I love all of you guys. You guys are so awesome. You guys, I'm so sorry that your childhood was so jacked up to the point that you actually grew up to be a troll. I'm so sorry that you were so dusty. So dusty to the point where you find joy, peace, and happiness in bringing other people down. Because you are so content in your misery, your miserable life that will never ever get better because you have created so much bad karma in your life that you will never be able to afford to pay it off. Yeah, I just created some good vibes for y'all. I just created some really good vibes and you know, that's all the attention that you're going to get. That's it. You know, maybe on another day, another month, another year, I will address my haters and their minions i mean i just don't give a damn i really don't let me tell y'all something all that judging each other and whatnot let me tell y'all something you live long enough you're gonna go through some stuff so don't get too uppity don't get too beside yourself like oh i'm so good i'm so educated i make the best choices Okay, the universe gonna this universe gonna let you know, gonna let you know how educated you are. <laughs> In what department? That's what the universe gonna say. In what department are you so educated? Okay, well I'm about to get you with the whammy. I'm about to give you a couple lessons. In the same subject, let's see how educated you are. Then, right, right. I only speak the truth. Get back to me after. Life done kicked you up and down, okay? It done kicked you here, then, and everywhere back around. Come back. Come back not even 10, 15 years. Come back about two to three and let me know how swell your life is still going. It's going to be so grand. So grand. This is why I say people need not to judge, especially if you have not been in anybody's shoes. You ain't walked in their shoes. Don't do it. You could be up here next year, same time. Guess where you're going to be? Down here. Starting all over. Good luck to you. Good luck. That's why I try to stay humble and mind my damn business. Because I already know what life can give you. Life will give you the whammy, honey. And I ain't got time for Don't it. Don't judge. <laughs> Straight up. So, yeah, I guess this is vlog over day two. Oh, my. No, it's not day two. This day four. Two and three. I was busy. I ain't got time. <laughs> I ain't got time. You know, I would love to be able to sit at home and be a stay-at-home mom and just record videos and enjoy precious moments with my kids. But uh, the way life is going, honey, uh, that has yet to happen for me. So I got to stay on the grind. And sometimes that grind requires straight up focus you know i know y'all want to see that real too well i know i do when i turn on youtube it's like okay this bougie chick honey how much did you spend for that backdrop huh how much did you spend on your lip fillers hmm? your botox your contact lenses how much did you spend me i ain't spending nothing i'm gonna spend probably a couple dollars on some lipstick and that's it now just me talking to y'all i accepted a doordash order to walmart six dollars and 56 cents when i tell you i don't mind picking up from walmart sometimes because you just pull up and pop your trunk and they'll put the groceries in there but the walmart order that i just freaking accepted i now have to go inside the store in store pickup like come on now customers what y'all be on we already got to drive over here then go in here and look at an incompetent employee pretend like they know what they're doing and they really don't and waste 10 more minutes waiting for them to go pick up your order and bring it to me it's stupid
stupid. Again, my back is hurting. I don't want to have to deal with this. I don't mind going inside of a restaurant to grab orders. But Walmart, I don't even like coming to Walmart for myself. It's always congested. Ignorant people in the way. Inconsiderate people in the way. And just dumb employees in the way. Like, no. God. My, one of my business ventures has got to start popping. Popping like popcorn. Because this right here, it ain't popping like popcorn. Good old Wally World. It's a mess. This is what I got to do. Sorry, we can't find that order. Great, this is fun. So, so sorry, they can't find my order. Now I gotta wait on an employee. This ought to be fun. I wonder if this is the order here. I don't even know. Pickup. They can at least have one person back here for pickup. Nobody. Nobody. I swear, this is stupid. Didn't I say this was stupid? Didn't I? This is pickup. Here for pickup. What I'm picking up? Nothing. I swear. They got one minute and I'm out of here. One minute. Straight up. I done walked over here too from the park a lot. Already don't feel too hot. Stupid to me, man. That's one of the reasons why I started picking passengers up. But this is time consuming, and customers don't realize it. If you order for customers, when y'all order from Walmart, don't make it where the driver has to come inside and wait. You know, you in the Walmart park a lot where you see weave on the ground. This is ridiculous. Now, this passenger here, not passenger, customer, ordered all this. You mean to tell me you couldn't send it to the regular Walmart pickup? I had to go inside to get eggs and a vacuum? This shit is, I mean, this stuff is crazy. But okay, bougie customer. Now I'm sweating. I just had to push, pull, push, whatever, the cart away. The lady vacuum is in my dang back seat, couldn't fit in my trunk. So, yeah. Meanwhile, my back is still jacked. Come on, people. Y'all be making things harder for people who are picking your stuff up. If they have an alternative where we can go pick it up around the corner and these employees that are getting paid, what they're supposed to do is put them in the trunk. And guess what we do? Bring them to your address. Stop having us come here, go inside, wait for the order. This is why I say I don't have time to be doing Vlogtober vlogs. Because y'all going to see maybe one, two, or three Vlogtober days and then what? Then what? Crickets. So, I just got to keep it real with myself. I can't do it. I'm busy and I'm focused on the bag, focused on my goals. And then I run into these situations where I got to go above and beyond for the job. The call of duty. Yeah, whatever. Trick side. Hey. No catfishing. This is not a fish fight. Never switch sides. I'm a dog. Catch a contact. Okay, so I just got done dropping off the Walmart order. The Walmart in-store order. Mm. That's all I can say. Mm. Next time, I'm going to be... I, can't, I cannot be distracted. I cannot be distracted because when I'm distracted, I'm accepting orders that I normally would not do. Why? Because I know it's going to be 
extra effort. And if I want to be busting a sweat, I'd go to the gym. I could leave that that them type of orders up to the little teeny boppers. Teenagers, if you are lucky enough to have a vehicle, why are you working at fast food restaurant? You're not going to be getting that money. I mean, if you're getting benefits from McDonald's or where fast food, whatever, good luck. All I'm saying is you could be making a whole lot more with your vehicle. Seriously, if I was, when I was a teenager, I would have loved because I had vehicles. I think I was 18 or 19 when I got my own, my first vehicle. Which way I was supposed to be going? I think it was a 19, <laughs> 19, 1989 Cadillac Sedan DeVille. Navy blue. My Cadillac was clean. 19 in a clean Cadillac Sedan DeVille, navy blue. Okay, low miles. Yes, people couldn't realize, they couldn't believe, they didn't want to believe that I worked hard and saved up for my own car. They thought I was selling dope. Selling drugs. No. Well, my boyfriend, was, my boyfriend bought me that car. No, my boyfriend didn't. I've always been independent. I've been working since I was 14 years old. A man don't make me. Okay, I go out and I get it. Men come to me and try to use me and take advantage. Uh-uh. No. Ain't nobody funding me. I don't have no sponsor. Although, it would be nice to have. But I don't have that. Okay. So, yeah, teenagers, go ahead. Get that guap. Doing deliveries. That's a good start. Don't knock it till you try it. Don't knock it until you try it. Guess what? I just saw the notification to that Walmart order where they had me go inside, bust my sweat, $6.56. Honey, I just got the tip, boo-boo. That tip was $10, baby, baby. Ugh, $10. So, I got $16.56 for going inside to pick up a vacuum and a little bit of groceries. Send me back for another $16.56. I tell you, it may make it worth my while. I'm telling you right now. That's one thing about Walmart customers I've noticed. Seven times out of ten, you will get a tip. It may not be right away, which that's why I'm surprised I got that $10 tip just now. Uh, usually, you have to wait about a week or so to get a tip from somebody. Last week, somebody tipped $10, then followed up with $4, or was it 6 I don't know. But I'm like, dang, they late, but thank you. I welcome it. I welcome it. But why does it take you a whole week to figure out exactly how much I deserve as a tip? It's just kind of confusing, but whatever, whatever. <laughs> Let's keep the coins coming. Let's keep the dollars coming. Let's keep the tips coming. Thank you, Walmart in-store customer. Now, that was a blessing on this here date. It was. Okay, I'm tired. I am tired. It is going on 9 p.m. I actually stopped door dashing to Uber Eats because DoorDash had gotten slow and I got to keep that money flow going. I got to. Overall, I would say today was okay. Average. I wouldn't say an A+. Plus. Part of it was my fault because... I had to run a couple errands and it was kind of lazy today, but hey, there's always tomorrow. There's always tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm about to get it because I've been thinking and there's some goals that I'm trying to accomplish and I'm going to have to accomplish them by myself, which is fine because when I reach the goal, it's going to feel so great. Goals, rather. Yeah, I got about five to ten short-term goals that I've got to accomplish by the end of this year. And I'm going to do it.